What's going on, Dominators? David Dominity here, and today we are ranking every Spring League uniform. Since early 2019, we are using the AAF, the XFL 2020, the 2023 XFL, and the USFL. We are using both Mahler's uniforms. We are ranking it 34 to the best. There is going to be a controversy on the three-way tie at the top. Um, that's not really a tie. I did end up ranking them. But number one could possibly move down to even number two or three. I still think they're a good uniform, but it's going to drop. Um, and I'll explain why, but I don't think everyone's going to be happy with what number two that it could, could be possibly number one. Now, I rank these all in a specific order. I am ranking these by one to ten. This is how I started it up because I had ones like ranked nine, eleven, all the way the highest was 19 and 18, which is where the top three are. They're all at 19. But through points-wise, from 1 to 5, I did helmets, jerseys, pants, slash socks, and colors. If it needed to be a tiebreaker between these low scoring, I then would use the away uniforms. Now, disclaimer, the, the AAF uniforms, I'm using what they wore the most. So don't get mad at me because you're not going to like what a certain team has. It's because that's what they wore the most. So get off my back. And the AAF is dead anyway, so it don't even matter. Um, another thing, this is also based off of creativity. It's also based off of how well they used everything. Um, some teams missed a little detail. Hell, Number three has such a tiny detail that I don't like. Because remember, this is my opinion. A tiny detail I don't like. That probably stopped it from being number one or two. So we're going to get right into it. And let's freaking go. Tampa Bay Vipers. The Vipers are so low on this list because of the, just not a lot of good stuff. I mean, I don't like the helmets. I don't like how the fangs go from the back or they front to the back, it just makes it look weird. Um, obviously, the XFL's 2023 Vipers didn't do that, and the fangs went forward, which is way better. Um, but this was just, I, I like the idea of having like the snake and, I, and stuff like that, but the colors just don't work. The away uniforms look good. I think if the helmets were darker, it would be much, much better. But yeah, this, this just is not the best uniforms, and there's a reason why it is dead last. Now, the Pittsburgh Maulers in 2022, they got the rank of 33. Now, why did they get rank 33? Honestly, these aren't two terrible uniforms, but they are I just don't like the colors. The colors don't mix, I think, uh, especially when you think of Pittsburgh. You definitely, especially because they are the only team that used the same colors for every single sport. It's just weird seeing different colors. So I think that affects them. I do like the shine of the helmets, and I like the way... The uniform is. You got the orange top, shoulders, um, and then shoulders slash sleeves, I would like to say, and then the purple uh, uh, middle. But it's just, the colors just are weird. And you, it's, it's colors you never see together, really. So it's just odd. The Orlando Guardians are number 32. Now, honestly, these come down to create. This one definitely comes down to creativity. I don't think that they're terrible. Honestly, I like the home uniforms. I think the gray just ruins it. I think the gray and the shoulders ruin the home uniforms because we're going based off of the home unis mainly too as well. Um, and it's the tops. It's the it's the the the, the lack of creativity with the helmets, especially because these guardian helmets are not like the 2020 version, which are a tad bit better, but those are still not that great. Um, so I think I would have liked this if maybe there was a different uh, different font or, or way around the font of the numbers, because if like you had a number, like a darker color around the numbers to pop, maybe it would be better. But uh, yeah, New or uh, Orlando gets 32. The AAF's Atlanta Legends get number 31 on this rank. And here's the thing. I ranked everything, and the helmets aren't terrible. I don't like the, the flakes. Because to be honest, when I watched highlights, I never noticed the flakes until they zoomed in. And then I didn't know. I totally forgot they existed until I saw this. So I don't think I like the... like. And honestly, I want to tell you the real reason why these uniforms aren't high. 
when I was doing this, I was like, oh, these might be like top 10 maybe or in the middle of the pack because a lot of teams scored 15. Um, and that's going to be ridiculous. These are so low because I hate the Atlanta part on both sides. They make it look stupid. They make it look silly. If they wanted to do that, they could have put just the, the, the city Atlanta on their top. But they didn't do it. And I think that ruins the, the look of the whole uniform when you just have a big ALT. And it looks different on every single player. Because every single player has a different type of uniform. So, it doesn't look good. Arizona Hotshots are at number 30. And honestly, when I made this and after I put it all together. And I've redone this video three times. I've already uploaded it. But I want to make another one just in case. This one probably could be higher. Now, here's the reason it, it's at where it is though. I like the helmets. I like the way the the they got the the look on the stripe. Um, but here's where I kind of lose the effect. The pants are good. I think they just tried to use all three colors, and it doesn't work. Like, what is their primary color? What is their away color? Because it's funny when you look at the logo. Their, their primary technically on the jersey is yellow, which is yellow is, you know, one of the, you know, lower colors, you could say, at least in the axes. Um, and But it's the background color. Then it's green, and then it's orange. And it's just hard because when you look at this, like, I don't like when numbers are completely one color. Um, if Sometimes it could work. Um, but I feel like with this one, you needed a white just like a white un uh, uniform number with maybe a green tr uh, trimming, and it would look okay. But like I said, helmets and pants look okay. I just feel like the jersey just threw every color together, and it's just too much, and I don't think that uh, is a good effect. But these definitely probably could get moved higher, especially because when you'll see what's higher than this one, and I kind of want to flip them, but I won't. The New Orleans Breakers, um, their helmets, uh, they're, I'm going to give you the real reason I hate these uniforms. They're basic. They're just a solid blue color, and I love the font, but it's just a solid blue color, and I hate the little waves that are on the side because they just look silly. Um, <laughs> I like it on the helmet, though. I think they should have had a different design for the shoulders, and at that point, it's just a... So you're telling me the only thing I like about it is the font, and that's not good. So that's why they're at number 29. Um... I do like everything else about it, and I do like the away versions. Obviously, if you look under me, the away versions look a really good. But once again, I just don't like that little swoosh. Now, I personally thought that when I made this video, all of the black uniforms were going to be in the top 10. I really did. I thought they were going to be in the top 10. But then I brought in the other aspects to it, and that's why the Houston Gamblers come in at number 28. Their helmets are un. They're unoriginal. They're just black helmets with the logo strapped on them. There's no, and I mean, that's the reason why they have the, they, they're not keeping this team for the USFL and they're having the Houston Roughnecks take their place. They're not original. They don't have cool uniforms. They don't have cool, a cool logo and really an identity. I mean, gamblers, like what are they, you know, there's not even like any, what is the association with a gambler on this, uh, uniform the jerseys are mildly nice i would i think i gave them a three um yeah i gave them a three and honestly you could argue the fact that this one could be lower and maybe even the hot shots could take over for this one but there's just not a lot of creativity into this one and when you really look at both uniforms it's just a solid black solid white there's no anything on the, the trimming at least some of these other ones that are just plain black have other types of low, uh, colors in them. So now, Salt Lake City, and everyone's going to be like, well, why was the old New Orleans Breakers down there? I I, I like the helmets because I like the idea that they had. It, they just didn't pull it off. It kind of looks a little silly. I like the face masks. The, the colors on the font look okay. The jerseys themselves look okay. Uh, and the pants look good, and the colors are phenomenal. Um, I just don't think that they're that great that they should be any higher than where they are. Um, I mean, I think if they had like that blue on the jersey, I think it would they would have been a little more up. 
but I think the way it is is fine. Um, but it's it's fine to the point where I don't think it needs to be any higher. Now, New Jersey Generals, this is when one of those concepts where being a little too safe and just don't want to get all dramatic with it can hurt you. When you take away the shoulder logos, it's just a red jersey. So I'm not going to give it that many points and put it high on the list when literally it's just a red helmet with a logo on. There's nothing. And they could have done something with like the leaves or whatever, but they didn't. And it's just a plain red uniform. So I think I'm it, it deserves to be on this list for being – it's very good for being simple, but that's where its downfall is. It's sim too simple that it shouldn't be higher. The St. Louis Battlehawks in the 2020, and people will not like this, but I ex I'll explain. I like the way they did the Eagles style wings. I just didn't like the, it just looks silly when you look at it now. It just looks too weird. It looks like they tried too hard to put the logo into the helmet, even with the sword all the way down. It just looks a little too weird for my liking. Um, the blue uniforms are pretty good. I do have a little problem with them, but they not as big as a problem that I originally had. And then their pants are pretty solid and pretty good. Um, and the white uniforms look good too. I think it deserves to be at this spot. Tampa Bay Bandits. Now, I originally kind of wanted to move this up. I like the pants. I like the colors. The stripes are really good. The helmets are okay. They're not the greatest. Now, silver helmets are also rough, and I think these are one of the better silver helmets that are on this list. Um, it just There's something about them that doesn't scream to me that they should be higher and even in the top 10 let alone top 15. So that's why they're really down here. Maybe if they had a different different stuff on the ch shoulders, maybe you would see them higher, but just feels like they got really lazy with anything above the shoulders. <laughs> so um, the Memphis Showboats, this is one of those examples where being simple helps. And I like the helmets, and the only reason why, honestly, that they're probably above the other two is because of the simplest M that's on their uh, sleeves. I like the M. has like the exhaust or whatever for the steam to come out. I love that. Um, the white uniforms also look really well. Um, kind of sucks that they just stick to plain white pants uh, for both. But I think it's a good uniform. And there's not much to put it. There's not, You can't really put it higher. You can't put it lower in my opinion. And this one could be talked about differently. The helmet I really enjoy. The problem with these AAF helmets is that they'll have like the logo on one side, then numbers. I think that's stupid. Um, I get it. You want to see the player's number, but that's why you put that shit in the back of the helmet. Um, because when you look at these pictures, it's like low number, 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 number. It's like what the hell? Okay, we know what number you are. Uh, the colors are good. The pants are good. The shirt. Or the jersey itself looks really good. I like the sides. Um, and I mean, the helmets are really what helps this become its top prior or the top of its list because of the, the San Antonio on the back, stuff like that works really well. And the Apollos, Orlando Apollos, I love the uniforms. Um, I know they have the alternate ones, but they wore this one more. This. And I don't even think they would be in the top 10 even if I used those other ones um, because they didn't use them as good as another team did. But this logo and this helmet is solid. Um, I really like this. I think the color scheme works well with the white. And I think there was a reason why they used this one more. And I just like the way it looks. But it, does, it doesn't deserve to be in 15. Houston Roughnecks of 2020 also get the tw or also, but they get the 20th spot. One of those teams that once again in decent looking jerseys. I think that on the field these things look way better. That's one of the reasons why I put pictures of them like in game. Uh, love both of the uniforms. Their red uniforms look really solid. Love the lettering um, and the font. I think the only things I hate about this uniform is I really hate the star. The star just makes it look really weird. Um, and then there's something about the helmet I never liked. Now, this, I like the newer logo because this logo did look a little too, like, thin and, like, not really thick enough. 
and then putting it on the silver uniform or um helmets just looks so weird to me um i never liked the the helmets to a, a that extent they got a three i think on my list so that's why they're ranked at number 20 but they're still solid uniform and i like the concept it's also hard when a lot of teams have these similar colors the san diego fleet who literally i think this is one of those teams that i think could be higher because i think it's a good concept i like the helmets I like the logos. Everything about this uniform is good. I do have a problem with these arrows that keep going all over this uniform. I think if they kept it on the jersey and maybe the helmet, boom, they're solid. Or even t making a new helmet, instead of having those things down on the helmet, just keep them on the jersey and the pants, this uniform probably goes higher. I just feel like they didn't come up with a new idea. So they just said, okay, arrows down throughout the whole uniform. Um, and I think the font's okay. Um, I, I think that it, it's bold, so it kind of pops out to you. But the face mask also, pretty good. There's just something about this all, all – like at first I was like, oh, it's sick on the helmet. But when you really look at, at it more, it's just wish they added something a little more. Philadelphia Stars. Now, I question f flipping the other two teams, but nah, I like these uniforms. I mean, people don't. I'll give you my straight-up opinion on these. The thing I hate about these uniforms, first of all, they're super bright, <laughs> but I don't like that the... It's like, what is your primary color? Red, orange, or yellow? Because you use all of those. <coughs> and my apologies, I just realized I just coughed right in the mic. Um... I hate that the logo is right here, and then they have the logo on the helmet. It makes, it's like, I don't, I don't like it. Um, and then at that point, it's pretty much a plain uniform, but it's still more, it still has something on the side, which is more than, similar to the Bandits, and more than the other teams that had absolutely nothing. So that's why it's really high. And these uniforms did look pretty good. Um, I just think they could have toned it down a little bit. And I don't really see a point of having the logo right here. If anything, put an alternate logo right here. But whatever. The Pittsburgh Maulers get number 17. They did what they needed to do. They changed it to the Pittsburgh colors. And the reason why they're high is because they look good. And I know people are going to be like, well, you have a TJ Watt jersey and you're a Pittsburgh fan. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean anything. I think these uniforms look really sick. I like the pants with it. I like the way these things look. The logo looks still good with them. And I personally think it is a big upgrade compared to what they had. Especially when you think this is number 17. The other ones are at 33, right? So, I mean, this is a big jump. And, <clears throat> I mean, I think they're simple. And they work. And that's why they're here. Now, 16, these easily... you're gonna People are going to get pissed. But these easily could have been in top 5, maybe even... I would probably say definitely top 10. I like the helmets. I like how the rot or the, the jets kind of shoot, you know, from the back to the front. Um, I like the colors. I like the side of the jerseys. I like the pants. What I don't like about these and the biggest reason why they're not even in the top 15, even though it's one shy is because I think if this was entirely red, up here that's a solid uniform i hate the fact that it's just one color and then only thing you really have are the red sleeves and just the numbers i don't like that at all i think that if it was red it would look 10 times better and those would have been higher up on this list in the top 15 we have the dc defenders in 2020 i rank them here because of it's quite simply it's, it's quite simply simple. It's the fact that they are so simple that there's not really anything to move them from. I like the logo on the helmets. I love the logo right here um, on the collar. What I hate is why is it that every logo here, here, and on the pants, the lightning bolts are going down, but then the lightning bolts are going from the sides. I don't like it. I never did like that part. I think that they should have done the three stars which is ironic because when you see the next DC uniforms, pay attention to that idea. 
Um, and I think they would have been really solid. But it's so, it is still good that they deserve to be top fifteen, but it's sim too simple that it can't be higher. And I'm gonna hear you're gonna hear that in the next five. The New York Guardians, same thing, simple. I feel like it's just missing something. The helmet, they're, they're missing something. Um, kind of like what I said earlier where I feel like I like these things in the back, but not not crazy amount. I don't think that they're best. It just, they pulled it off in a weird way. Um, I also just feel like they, they should have added something more than just the stripes and maybe just change the whole color of the top or something like that. Um, or had those wrap around or something because it just looks a tad bit odd but they're still good uniforms and one of my favorite away uniforms definitely the birmingham stallion now these are solid they're solid uniforms i like the helmets except for the fact that they're low the color of their helmets is rough because since they're using the logo which has the same colors they're, the helmet looks a little weird with the white all on that creamish color. But uh, these are good uniforms. I love these things. I just feel like they they don't have anything that like pizzazz me. Like that make me like, oh my god, these are top 10. Um, I love their away uniforms as well. I think that the Birmingham Stallions have very solid uniforms. Um, I just don't think they should be higher. I do think they could be higher than maybe the next two, or at least the, at least number 11, maybe. I don't know. The Houston Roughnecks are at number, or 2023. Houston Roughnecks take number 12 spot. Uh, the pants look great. The colors look great. Here's where their downfall is. At first, I hated their helmet. I actually love it. The reason why I do think it's a little silly, though, is because their helmet is um, <coughs> it's Texas colors, or like the Texas flag. You have three Texas teams, so what's the point of having that? One of the things I truly don't like about this uniform is that I don't like how the numbers fade. I don't like how it's a red number and it fades into the color of the uniform. It just looks weird to me. I think if you just did a solid red for the numbers, these uniforms look clean, cut, perfection. But I, there's just something about it that just looks really odd to me. Um... But other than that, they are really good uniforms. Now, here's another one, plain but simple. The Birmingham Iron, and I believe that's actually it for the AAF. <laughs> um, but this is where plain and simple get to you. There's not much except for the sides on the jerseys, not much on the pants except for the sides. I mean, they are decent uniforms, but I can't put them in the top 10 for being just because they're all fully black and black looks good with everything. Um, I, I can't add it. I just can't. So... You guys will know why in a little bit, but it's just they're missing a lot, I think. I love their helmets, especially the first time I saw them. I said, damn, these things are good, but yeah, they're missing something. But And they're too, like I said earlier, too simple to be in the top 10. The DC Defenders in 2023, though, will take the top 10 spot. I love the camo style in the helmets. I love the sides. They did a very good job of making it still simple for the DC Defenders and making it look good. The font, I think, looks a little weird with, like, the silverish color with the white, but they do pull it off. Their white uniforms look really solid as well, especially when they take the camo and put it up top. I think these uniforms are pretty solid, um, and I feel like it still has that too simple factor that it shouldn't be too high. But like I said, sometimes there's a simple ones, but they have a little bit of spice to it. LA Wildcats take the number nine spot, and I love the claws on the sides and on the helmet. I think what kind of affects it is the color scheme. Um, I think they could have maybe done something differently with the, the orange, and then they could have made the logo or the colors like white. I really like their away uniforms. I think their away uniforms are really solid. There's just something missing in these away or these home uniforms that I don't think that they should be in the top five. Now, in the top, it, taking the eighth spot is the Dallas Renegades in 2020. I love these helmets. You guys know these are my favorite colors. I use them all the time, seeing as you can see at the top. I love the top of these. I love the jerseys themselves. I also feel like those are missing something. 
but the pants are also solid. I think that these are good uniforms, really good white uniforms as well. Uh, but there's just something missing in, in like the sh maybe just the jersey. But it's a pretty solid helmet, and these helmets look really nice. Um, when you look at them, you know, outside the shine is amazing. The St. Louis Battlehawks for 2023 XFL took the seven spot. They are one of the only two teams that pulled it off with their helmet design. I like the sides. I like the way they did the new little crown on the top. Um, the, the colors did a little better than the last ones. They worked a little better. The font is cool with, the, um, with, cool with them. I think that these uniforms are pretty solid for being that number seven. They're missing that little missing what the other teams have but these are still very very solid uniforms so the saint Seattle dragons yep i almost said st louis battle house again now when i was making this video these were number one <laughs> um but yeah it's interesting it's actually really interesting um this the the dragons are a very good have very good colors their their jerseys look very well at first the helmets the white helmets are good but it's i always laugh about it because at first i hated the helmets but then when you think about it if they went with a blue style helmet then everyone's going to hate it right um i and i think that they did pretty well i like the, the tail style on the legs these jerseys are good. They did well with the colors. Outside, these things look great. In Seattle, these things look great. The away uniforms, these were in my 2020 video when I made the best uniforms. These were number one. Um, but I think the, the other ones have them beat. Now, starting at number five, the Michigan Panthers of the USFL. Their helmets are shiny. I like it. Their their home uniforms look fantastic from the top down. I think that the the colors just work so well. Um, I think if they had maybe an updated logo, it would be better. But I think everything's solid on these uniforms, and there's nothing to argue with about them. At number four, I have the Arlington Renegades. I love these uniforms. I think their helmets are okay. Uh, I think if they had the older logo on this logo or on this helmet, this probably sneaks in the top five. Um, I like the the letters um, and the and the numbers. I keep saying letters, but you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Jeez, um, these uniforms are pretty solid. I think that. Um, their away uniforms kind of look a little weird and silly, but I, I just when you look at these, they just look too good to you know not be at the top. I think they do way better than what the other ones do, um, and did. And I think that this one deserves to stay at its spot. Um, the only I think problem why it's not at the top is its helmet. I really do. Now. I should make it known that these three, if I if I didn't say it in the beginning of the video, these three should probably could all be flipped. Um, and honestly, at the end of this video, you might actually flip two of them. But I love the Brahmas and how they look, and the back of their helmets look great. Everything about these uniforms, from the pants, I love their away uniforms and how they're yellow. The one and only problem I have with these uniforms and why they're not number two or even number three, because personally, these are probably the second best XFL uniforms, or actually, no, probably in the third-ish area. It depends on which version of one XFL uniform you take. Look at the font. I hate that the 16, or just look at the quarterback, it's yellow at the bottom, and it's not all the way throughout the whole number make it look consistent and just have it the same color because i love the like cracking look it has it in, in the the numbers but what pisses me off is it's just yellow going into that gray and i don't like it i think if they stick with either just yellow or gray these uniforms are great but that little detail just turns turns this thing into a different category 
the Vegas Vipers take the two spot. And people are going to be like, of course you put Vegas in the top five. Because you have a Vegas thing. Blah, 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 blah. No. It's based off of what I think. And out of every team that has black in their uniform, they did it the best. Look at the black uniforms. First of all, the helmets. Black, plain, but the way they have the red, the red shines. The, re the red reflects. And I think that is a very good look. Um... Very better logo from the other Vipers, by the way. The, the, the numbers shine. Everything that's red shines, and I liked it. There is not just a full black. They have the snake striped on the sides. They have the gray on the top. These uniforms are nothing, in my opinion, but perfect. And if it comes down to these could possibly be number one, and we're going to explain that, especially because these away uniforms are easily also the best in the league. The, with the numbers having the snake, uh, snake stripes. Maybe if they had like a red outline or something that you can kind of pop a little more. But other than that, these uniforms are both solid. Now, if you haven't guessed, at number one, the Seattle Sea Dragons. Now, here's the problem. At the end of the year, they change their home uniforms. And that's the only reason why they're at number one. If, even if they don't, you could move Seattle to maybe number three. And if you can be crazy, you might be able to move them more down. But their solid orange look that they kept at the end of the season, these were solid. The helmets are solid. The pants are solid. The jerseys are solid. The solid orange is great. I think these are easily the best uniforms we've had in the league because they have so much detail with both the red and the blue. Sorry, with both orange on up top and below i just think that these are the better way to go and if i'm very interested in what people have to think if if you guys don't agree with me i want to tell you guys this i definitely think that if you are like well no that doesn't count well then here's your number one easily i could tell you there's no doubt about it that's your number one and honestly if we're being that serious about it then number three is Seattle and number two is the Brahmas and number one's Vegas. Vegas has the best uniforms, no doubt about it. If you don't agree with me, you don't agree with me. It's my opinion and my opinion matters. So, um, if you guys, well, at least to me, uh, if you guys don't agree, I'm sorry, but I hope you guys, uh, I want to know your guys' rankings. Um, I definitely think that they have the best in the league. Uh, the XFL always had good uniforms. And uh, I can't wait. Hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, comment down below your guys' uh, opinions. And I can't wait to see them. Uh, I don't assume. I assume they won't have new jerseys for the UFL. I hope not. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Like this video. Like it. Comment down below. Dominate the world. Dominate is because David the Dominator is out. Peace.